try as I might to not. I've thrown the word worship around as a default way of relating to gods. However, I actually hate that word and I try to avoid it as much as I can. It's one of those insidious pieces that sneaks up on me as an ex-Christian because it's the word that we all use for how we related to the Christian God. It's just right there in my subconscious, you know. The primary deity I work with is Hecate, but it's inaccurate to say I worship her. I respect her as one would respect an extremely wise old elder who can see far more about the world than I can, and I partner with her to carry our shared values into the world. She came into being thousands of years ago, probably through the process of an egregore taking on life that I described in the last video. She absorbs the offerings of those who venerate her and attracts those who vibe with her energy. Let's come back around to my spiritual viewpoint on Christianity and Judaism. Both would say that they worship the one true God. Whether an individual person does or not depends on how that person is linking into the energetic current that flows into the divine ground, the undifferentiated spiritual Plato I already talked about. From my polyistic viewpoint, each group is drawn to act out the values and personality of their group egregore. Actually linking into the divine ground means acting with honesty, striving to understand your personal shadow side, and living in harmony with the universe. I gotta be honest with you, I don't see the Christian egregore's personality concerned with those things. It's why I moved away from it. Our values don't align. It pushed me out as much as I fled from it. It's also important to note that each smaller group has an egregore slash deity that runs the show. This is where the overlapping clouds of spirit come in. The Christian white nationalist's deity is different than my local Unitarian Universalism's deity. American Reformed Judaism's deity is different than Israeli Orthodox Judaism's deity. Still, as an energy practitioner, I believe it's important to understand the virtues and values of any overarching group you belong to. This is one of the reasons I would never again call myself Christian. The Christian deity, from my polytheistic perspective, has too much blood on its hands. It pulls all the Christians toward its warlike nature, which can be seen in the terrible laws being passed today, in their persecution complex, in their obsession with Adonai's violence in the Old Testament, in the Crusades and witch trials, and in the burnings of the Gnostics and their literature. And I'm only just getting started. To me, it's clear that a war little g god slash egregore is at work, pushing the evangelicals and Christian nationalists around like pieces on a chessboard. Where did it originally come from? I don't know. It could have broken off from the cloud of a pre judaic Canaanite deity thousands of years ago, or it could have been Ares, the Greek god of war, attracted to the energy of the proto-Christians. Remember, they were persecuting people. Who do Christians and Jewish people worship? Not the same god, that's for sure. There is no such thing as Judeo-Christian. Judaism and Christianity are completely different religions with completely different worldviews.